everyone! Well this week I wanted to share with you something a little different and a little more personal about what we've chosen for our birth. When I got pregnant, we had already had some thoughts about it, but I really knew that I wanted to try for a natural childbirth. So we decided that we'd like to have our baby at the local birthing center here in town. What's great about the birthing center that we chose is it's on the campus of our beautiful hospital here. So it's very close, it's a minute and a half to get into a room at the hospital, which made Peter feel a little safer, and it's also close to our house. Um, but what's different about it is that I don't have a regular doctor. I don't have an obstetrician. There are six midwives that work at the birthing center. They're certified nurse midwives, and whoever is working the day we go in to have our baby will be the woman that's there to help us deliver Ashland. What's great about the birthing center is that over the course of our nine months, we have met every single midwife. So you get to know them in your monthly checkups, and then they become two weeks, and then they'll go to every week pretty soon. And we've had the chance to meet every midwife, which has been so wonderful. And I have to say, I've loved them all, <laughs> which is great because you never know who you're going to have and, you know, it wouldn't be fun if you didn't click with one of them. So when I show up at the birthing center for every appointment, I do a lot of stuff on my own. I get to weigh myself, I actually pee in a cup and test my glucose and my proteins and nitrates. Um, it's pretty awesome to feel like you're in control of all that. And really why we chose this is just becoming more educated about how birth is more medicalized in our country and it really doesn't need to be. It was something that I really wanted for us to have as natural a birth experience as possible. Before I go on, I just want you all to know that I don't want this vlog to come off in any way as a judgment towards what other women choose. This is strictly about the journey that I chose for our delivery and for our birth. I believe that every woman has the right to choose what they want for their birth to be. Whether they want assistance of a doctor, whether they want pain medication, whether they want a water birth, whether they want a home birth. This is just what Peter and I chose and um, I just wanted to share with you all why we chose it and what we're hoping for. But really, in the end, it's such an unknown and I can't even imagine really what that day is going to be. So we've been taking birthing classes and they've been really preparing us as much as possible for at least the birth that we're hoping for and the birth that we want. And that is just to do it completely naturally. So at the birthing center, I have no option for pain medication. <laughs> so it's also just getting your head into that space of I've kind of made up my mind that once I'm there, that's where I'll be. And of course, if there are special circumstances, then you have the option of going to the hospital. What will be will be, and I'm just trusting in God and really trusting in my body that I can have this baby naturally and that he, he will be part of it. Um, that's something else that we've learned that I didn't really think of before, but besides having Peter as this amazing support system, I know he's going to be incredible. He's already been so supportive and in the birthing classes he's so interested and he really does put me at ease. So I know he's going to be a huge part of that day, but also the fact that Ashlyn's a huge part of it. You know, he's going to be working with us. <laughs> so we've really been working in the birthing classes on connecting with him as much as we can. Just learning the relaxation tools and trying to visualize kind of what we want that day to look like. And I've already been putting together a mix of music that I want playing. Peter's worried about me playing some of his music, but there's some of his gorgeous folk songs that are really so beautiful and put me at ease. One thing that was so exciting is I was able to witness my best friend's birth, Megan. And she and Josh really brought that baby into the world. The midwife was there, but her support system was there, her sisters and her mom, and I was there actually filming. And I did share about it actually in November. So I have a vlog about that experience and I think I just sat and talked about how incredible which I think I said a billion times, the experience was, but I was already a patient at the birthing center and seeing how the midwife worked with her and how Josh was there for her, it was really inspiring and just confirmed even more that Peter and I had made the right choice for what we wanted for our birth. What's so cool about it is no matter what you decide or what you think you want, your birth story is going to be what it is and um, it will be unlike anyone else's and it'll be individual to us. So. Really, it's just such an exciting day for us. We just can't, well, I can wait. <laughs> I want him to cook a little longer, so stay in there, bug. We're just really looking forward to that day when we get to meet him and bring him into the world and 
I know I can do it. I know my body can do it and that's a big part of it, just staying positive. As many of you know who follow along with my vlogs, I'm a pretty positive person, so that part of it I think I've got covered. Just in terms of letting go of the fear of it, I am just excited for that day and I'm really looking forward to it. And I know it's going to be hard work and I know that I probably can't even fathom what it's going to feel like and what my body's going to go through. But I'm just trying to mentally prepare as much as I can and just knowing that every step of the way it's bringing me closer to meeting my son, it's just like that trumps everything. <laughs> so I hope I look back on this and go, yeah, that was pretty right on. <laughs> but whatever it will be, it will be our story. So I know today was a little different and maybe a little too personal for some of you and I I'm totally okay with that. I just have really enjoyed having you all follow along on this journey and um, it's definitely become like a video diary for me. Something I can look back on and maybe in this case go, I was crazy. <laughs> but this is our hope and I just wanted to share that with you all. Thanks again for listening and if you appreciate these Holland's Family updates, please just subscribe and follow along on our journey if you haven't already. We're going to have a few more updates before the day comes, although we don't know when that day will be, but it's going to be soon, so we're really enjoying this journey and it's just been unbelievable. So I thank you all for watching and I appreciate all your kind comments and I look forward to sharing with you all next week. Alright, take care everybody. Bye!